when we first moved in here, you know, we noticed a lot of people dropping into the building site. I think they were trying to work out what is this wacky house. And so we thought, when we move in, all right, we'll, we'll let her drop the local area and we'll invite everyone around for a drink and so they could come and see it. And it was cool. We got a big turnout. It was a really great way of, of meeting the neighbourhood. But also talking to them about design. And I think that gets back to that point around designers and architects' responsibility to the community. It's our responsibility to lead, but also to talk and provide a bit of the reasons why. And one neighbour was like, she sort of looks off and she's like, I don't even feel like I'm in a house. And that was a really cool thing because spatially she was in something very different for her. So she was in a cupboard space, completely enclosed around her and walls, but also within a garden space. I'm Jimmy Thompson, design director at NJ Studio, and this is my home. North Perth is an established suburb and it's quite uh, multicultural in the way that it's been inhabited for, for the last hundred years. As planning changes and zoning changes, a lot of the character of the neighbourhood also started to change. So people's backyards started to be subdivided and there was a loss of canopy coverage and a lot of the edible garden spaces. The home itself, it's a courtyard house. The house is designed on a 12 by 12 grid. On the laneway side, you cut out a portion uh, where you can park, and then adjacent to that is the front door. Then when you enter, to the left, you have a bedroom suite. So all of that faces north. That bedroom then expands and takes in the whole courtyard. What we describe as a summer courtyard space because you have a lot of shade in there. You've got outdoor bath, outdoor fan, uh, and that's where that charcoal barbecue is. And then on the north side, uh, we have a uh, studio space. Predominantly that is south light into that um, zone, which is perfect for, for working, so you don't get direct light and contrast over workspaces. And then upstairs is an L-shaped space. That means we can still get heaps of north light into the lower level, but we get this great view to the city and to the south, while still maintaining really good access to light up here. So that even though you're in small spaces, you might be in taller volumes, or you might borrow views through glazing. So suddenly that small, small footprint actually feels like a big, generous home. Across our home, there's three different garden spaces. On the outside of the courtyard walls, what I'd describe as the kind of perimeter garden, that's all edible plants and trees. But then the central courtyard space is what we've described as the medicinal garden. So these are a series of plants and trees and shrubs which can be used for teas and tinctures. The rest of the garden spaces are on the roof, so all of those green roofs are a case study in demonstrating that you can use Western Australian endemic plants in a green roof scenario within Perth. The great thing about that is that they support local flora and fauna, so you'll often see a lot of birds up there, you know, there's a lot of life up there. And so these three garden types enable the house to achieve 100% grain plot ratio. So we wanted to demonstrate that there was a different way of doing it, that you could actually replace all that area of backyard in a new house with gardens and courtyards, but you'd have to do it over multiple levels. So the idea was, and the challenge was, can you get to 100% grain plot ratio? And can you do it in a way that's compliant with the existing planning codes? And can you be generous to your neighbours? because at the end of the day, our industry contributes about 40% to, to global carbon emissions every year. So everything that we do in design, we've got to find ways of doing it better. 
Our approach to sustainability as a practice is always to have a really solid base of, of passive design. Insulated cavity brickwork, it's really deep, it's 350 mils. Hardwall insulation within that. And then we've got the green roofs, so they essentially provide really good thermal mass. Sustainability doesn't have to be a, a separate element that's bolted on to design at a later date. You really want it to be enmeshed within all the conceptual ideas of the home or project.